A number of accidents at a busy intersection in West Little Rock has people calling on city leaders to put up a traffic signal. Numbers from Little Rock Police, they show there have been nine accidents on Chennault Club Boulevard and Chennault Parkway since 2018. The most recent one happened last week. Tonight, people are telling our Rochelle Turner they're hoping for a solution that will come before another crash. Rochelle. That's exactly right, Donna. Kevin, good evening to you. There's already been one fatality at that intersection. It happened several years ago, but people who live along that busy stretch of road say the speed limit and people turning into their neighborhood, neighborhood which, call, uh, which faces a blind spot, is super dangerous. I spoke to Lance Hines, who's the city director for West Little Rock, and he says there's a few roadblocks before a traffic signal can be put in that area. Cars travel up and down Chanel Parkway in West Little Rock. It's very dangerous out here. Workers with Nolan Construction block off lanes. We're in putting it under drain because the roads here has been getting messed up. Crews say drivers are not paying attention. Literally, while we was putting the barrels out, they was almost running over us. And, uh, you know, we just sat there and threw up our hands. And when it comes to the speed limit. I don't think anybody does 45. I think you top this hill back here and everyone has got the gas pedal to the metal. On top of the construction, people have concerns about this intersection at Chanel Club Boulevard and Chanel Parkway. It's kind of a blind spot with the trees over there. We all take our life or limb into um, our hands every day, every time we try to turn left onto this uh, street right here. Lisa Bird drove up on an accident last week. Debris still sits in the road. There was someone lying on the road and it had just happened seconds before uh, someone was getting out of their car and calling 911. City Director for Ward 5, Lance Hines, says he's been working with neighbors in that area to try and get a traffic signal. We're having a conflict between uh, city staff and the neighborhood as to whether or not a signal is warranted for that intersection. Hines says money is also an issue. The problem is even if we had the funding, uh, unless the city uh, traffic engineers agree that the warrants are met, uh, having the funding won't matter. But people disagree and say it all comes down to safety. We need some something that would stop or slow traffic here, whether that be a stoplight, a roundabout, or something of that nature. Now, people fear another fatality will happen before something is done. I asked Director Hines about putting in a temporary traffic signal, and he says, well, right now he has to talk to his staff. Back to you. All right, Rochelle, thank you.